Lou Shooter Campbell was bully one. Eric Puck Hagenson was bully two. Uh, and then we had uh, Billy Hutchison was bully three. So they brief, they take off. They're headed down to North Carolina to go bomb for quarters and strafe, because who doesn't like a little bit of low angle strafe? Um, everyone loves shooting the gun. And by the way, I've never seen a fighter pilot ever pull the gun and not go, Burr! we all make the noise. <laughs> so they're down, they're, they're, they're bombing. We're sitting in, a, in a, an administrative meeting, and we get this knock at the door. And uh, an enlisted guy pokes his noggin in. It was uh, David Callahan, Chunks is what we called him. And Dave says, an airplane just flew into the World Trade Center. And we looked outside because our, our conference room was right on the flight line. It was a huge plate glass window. And we're thinking, how does that happen? Because as you know, I mean, New York actually isn't that far away. Contrary to what uh, you know, traffic would have you believe, it's actually really just kind of a stone's throw as far as the bird flies. And we share very similar weather patterns. We look outside, and it's that perfect crystal autumn day that we get here. How, what? So we're thinking, you know, did, did someone pooch their, you know, their, their approach into LaGuardia? I mean, it must have just been one of those little sightseeing uh, airplanes going down the Hudson. It just kind of made a wrong turn. Maybe it was scud running. And we made a couple of jokes about little airplanes bouncing off of buildings. And, uh, and then, because we, they certainly don't do any damage. They just sort of follow the ground. Um, the airplanes, that is. And, uh, and continued on. It wasn't, a, I mean, it wasn't really anything that triggered us. Until a few minutes later, Chunks knocks at the door again and says, another airplane flew into the other World Trade Center. It was on purpose. <laughs>